Good day, one world flyer squad. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jaden. We're at Denbasar Airport in Bali. Today we're going to fly Singapore Airlines 737 Max in economy class from here to Singapore. 64 is going to join us. His first time flying on a Max 8 or any sort of Max. Now, without further ado, let's head inside and check in. So today is going to be a long day for both 644 and I. We're both flying this morning flight to Singapore. We're going to have lunch and dinner in Singapore with friends. And then we're going to fly overnight to Adelaide and Sydney respectively. At Denbasar Airport, you'll find Singapore Airlines at ILC. Business Class and Star Alliance Gold members Hello. can check in using the Business Class lane. Our layover in Singapore is over 10 hours and our check bags are checked all the way to Australia. So check-in was quick and easy, I just got my boarding passes and this voucher for either the lounge or restaurants in the terminal. Singapore Airlines used the Premier Lounge at Bali Airport and that lounge can be really busy, especially during the evening when there are many Qantas flights, Qatar Airways, Jetstar and Emirates flights departing. So I thought it was a really good idea for them to offer us to use the voucher in the restaurants. Each voucher is worth about 21 Singapore dollars, 23 Australian dollars or 16 US dollars. We just made it to the air side. Security here was interesting. We didn't have to take out or tip out the water. My water bottle was over a litre. If you've been to Denbasar Airport before, then you will know that the terminal is sweltering. It's the perfect time and place to use your Ranvu Eyes 3. It's no traditional neck fan. It's a smart wearable air conditioner. 644 came to my Adelaide garage to be my model. So let's talk about first impression. Unlike most traditional neck fan, this does not look ridiculous. It just looks like you got your headphones on your neck. Doesn't 6 foot 4 look so cool there? And you know what? It actually does function like headphones. It can play music and you can answer and make phone calls. The AI3 has also intelligent temperature technology to adjust your emotions. It can read your heart rate and blood oxygen level to adjust your body temperature. Personally, I love wearing this smart air conditioner when I go on holidays and when I get in my car. You know, summer in Australia can get up to 50 degrees. For my American friends, that's over 120 Fahrenheit. So when you park your car outside, it's literally a confined oven. And at that moment, there's no better feeling than wearing the Ranvu Ice 3 Smart Wearable Air Conditioner. We're now back in Denpasar Airport. The airport isn't too busy at the moment, so we thought the lounge couldn't be too busy either. So today we chose the lounge over the restaurant and bar. You'll find several lounges, including the Premier Lounge in the upper level of Denbasar International Terminal. I think today we made a good choice choosing the lounge over the restaurant. There are less than 10 customers at the moment. I absolutely love the barley Chenin Blanc they offer in this lounge. I ask for a glass every time I come here. Here's the aircraft that will bring us to Singapore. It's a 5 year old Singapore Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8 9 Victor Mike Bravo Echo. This aircraft was delivered to Silk Air in May 2018. Then it was stored for two years during COVID 
In 2021, it was transferred to Singapore Airlines. Guests in business class, Elite Gold, PPS and Star Alliance Gold can board first. Hello, thank you. The cabin crew just welcomed us on board and gave out economy headsets. Here's the business class that you'll only find on Singapore Max 8. The first row and third row are laid out in a 2-2 configuration. The second row are throwing seats 1-1 configuration, best for solo travellers. And here we are in economy class, laid out in a 3-3 configuration. My seat today is 54k, I'll quickly go through the features. We've got a 2-pin headphone jack, USB port, there's no USB-C. Tray table can't be folded in half but you can certainly move it back and forth. Seat pocket pretty standard, no second or extra pouch. Leg room is better than Cafe A321. There is no power sockets down here. The only power supply is the USB port. Finally, every seat has a comfortable, adjustable headrest. The cabin crew have been so welcoming and friendly so far. We were among the first to board, and the cabin crew came down to the aisle to chat with us. It was a genuinely friendly conversation. She complimented 6'4's carry-on suitcase. It is quite beautiful and colourful, and she was asking if we were going home, Singaporeans, yada yada. We're off to a great start, except for the hot cabin. Thankfully, there are personal AC vents, which is quite uncommon across Singapore fleet. Please pay attention to the safety video, which will now be shown. Through this important safety briefing and all the journeys through Singapore. If there is a change in cabin pressure, an oxygen mask will automatically drop in front of you. Pull the mask down sharp flat on the floor and heels towards your seat. If you can't reach the seat in front of you, lower your head. We're now airborne and I'll quickly go through the in-flight entertainment. Singapore Airlines, Chris World is fantastic. Great content, many new movies and TV shows, as well as live news. The flight map is interactive, super, super easy to use. 
The flight time today is approximately 2 hours and 10 minutes. Well, up in the Bay of Bengal, heading towards eastern India by the end of the week. Now, there'll be some further snow showers, I think, across parts of Japan. Things cooling down here and across the Korean Peninsula as well, with that cold air gradually pushing southwards into Shanghai. Singapore Airlines offer free Wi-Fi for their Chris Flyer customers. I am a Chris Flyer member. However, when I fly with Singapore Airlines, I usually accrue my miles or points with Virgin Australia. So my boarding pass would say I'm a Virgin Australia customer. Unfortunately, you don't actually log in to use the Wi-Fi. Your Chris Fly membership must be linked to your boarding pass or booking. So today, I couldn't use the Wi-Fi at all. I made this feedback to Singapore Airlines in my previous video. And thankfully, since then, Singapore Airlines has changed their system. If you go to manage my booking right now, you should be able to fill in two frequent flyer numbers. One to use for your status benefit, another one for your points. It's perfect for those who've got several accounts with different airlines like me. It's now 11 o'clock Singapore and Bali time. Lunch is served. Today we're given two options, chicken rice or beef goulash. Both options come with a bottle of water, a wet wipe, bread and butter and a caramel cake. Both meals were really good. But with a beef goulash, you want to be careful and don't spill it on your shirt. What I absolutely adore about Singapore Airlines is that they offer cocktails in economy. I always get a Singapore sling when I fly with them. Here's the chicken rice. It's very juicy and the juice goes really well with the rice. Six foot four doesn't want to get his white shirt dirty, so he's leaning forward to eat it. Very nice. Stop. Welcome on board Singapore Airlines Max 8 Economy Lavatory. There are two at the back. Here's the sink paper cup so you can brush your teeth, rinse your mouth. There's a latch here and you'll find toothbrush, toothpaste. Don't know what's going on with the lights. Uh, sanitary napkins for ladies, vomit bags etc, the toilet, the size is not too bad, I feel like Qantas have smaller lavatories on their 7.3 but maybe it's just the lighting, got hook. I'm now going to try out the recline. It's surprisingly generous. One of the most frequent questions I get asked is that if I prefer Singapore 737 MAX or Cathay A321neo. I'll compare both economy products quickly. The Singapore MAX 8 have more leg room, but Cathay have double seat back padding. So if you're a shorter person, you might find Cathay to be more comfortable. If you're a taller person, like 6 foot 4, Singapore MAX 8 is better. In-flight entertainment are both really good. Singapore have free Wi-Fi. Cathay has a bit more content on their TV, and it's got also USB-C and power outlets. Singapore Airlines don't have them, however you'll need to pay for Wi-Fi on Cathay. So both the Singapore Airlines 737 MAX and Cathay A321neo have great economy products, but they are quite different. Let me know in a comment which one you prefer. Ladies and gentlemen, this flight will be arriving at Singapore Changi Airport Terminal 2. Preparation for arrival, please return to your seat, put your seat back up right and fasten your seat belt. Secure your tray table, handsets and footrests, and ensure your window sheets are drawn up. For passengers and people moving quickly, please ensure your window sheets are open. Please also look where the emergency exits are located. Thank you. Cabin crew, secure cab for landing. Thank you. We've started our descent into Singapore Changi and I'll quickly conclude this trip all right here right now. Our journey today started at Denpasar International Terminal. Check-in was quick and easy, so was security. The lounge was nice, not too crowded in the morning, and they've got great wine selection. However, it is a bit tired and old, like the rest of the airport. Once on board, a very friendly welcome from our cabin crew. They were also friendly and professional throughout the flight. We've got five cabin crew on this flight, four serving in economy. So the service was really quick and efficient. Even when it comes to special drink orders like cocktails, I get it within three minutes. When I flew the A3D in business class, it took them half an hour to make my cocktail. So there's definitely some benefits for choosing a small plane. The chicken rice and beef goulash were really good. 
excellent portion for this flight duration. 644 made a really good comment about this flight, and I quote, Fundamentally, everything is the same compared to Qantas, Queenstown to Sydney, but everything on this flight is just a bit better. In conclusion, it was a great flight with Singapore Airlines. Every expectation was met, and the cabin crew went above and beyond. Now for your information, Singapore Airlines can be quite expensive when it comes to short-haul flights. One way would cost you 180 Singapore dollars on this route. KLM fly the 777 on this route for half the price. Low-cost carriers like Jetstar, Scoot and AirAsia are even cheaper. So that's it for today, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you can, please leave a like, comment down below and share this video with your friends. And most importantly, if you're new to my channel, a big fat welcome. I upload a new report like this one every single week. So be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out again. After disembarking, I'll be having a 10 hour layover here in Singapore. You can watch that vlog if you continue watching this video. I guess I'll see you later then, bye bye. I don't even have a photo of me in it. Go there, go there. You are, are. Yeah, I'm going to go. Oh, you see on. Oh, it's cool. Okay, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then maybe. And. Singapore Airlines. What did I do? Look, I was very impressed with my flight. Of course. You should be. Better than. Better than. I never. I don't even know who he is. You wait outside the car. You wait outside the car like this.
So we just got back to the airport, we're going to have dinner at the Jewel. Tonight, 6 foot 4 would be flying the A380 to Sydney, and I'll be flying the 787 to Adelaide. Do check out my 787 trip report, it's already on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching today, hope you enjoyed the vlog and trip report, and a big fat thank you and shout out to all my patrons and PayPal Me supporters for your continuous support to this channel. I'll see you again next Thursday on my weekly upload. Bye bye.